What's up Kiwis? Welcome back to another video. I haven't, I know it's been a while. I've had some crazy things going on but today I am going to be doing a get ready with me and we're just gonna do our face. I got a haircut. I'm trying to bring back my natural curls so it's very short. I had to chop all the unhealthiness off because from like here down just had like crazy chemicals and it was just really unhealthy and now I just have all the healthiness left and also I really need to stop dyeing it because like like literally from like my roots here they just don't hold dye anymore and my hair's just like give me a break so that's what we're doing and yeah I've already done my eyebrows because that just takes a while and my eyebrows are tragic right now and I haven't done them for a while so I decided to just not let you see that because nobody needs to see that come, come out Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but yeah, so I'm here, we're in my living room right now, and I have all my makeup and things here, so I'm just gonna go in and let's just talk about whatever. <laughs> my skin feels so dry, and I don't know why, because I literally have moisturise on it. What are you barking at now? There's literally nothing there. I swear you just bark at the birds. In your own reflection. Because there's nothing there. There's my baby on the couch. It's just looking out the window. It's his favourite thing in the world to do. Maybe there's someone next door. I can hear someone with like a lawnmower or something doing something I don't know what kind of look to go for do we go crazy or do we just do like something natural mm -hmm. I don't know let's start with the base I don't know what to do I don't know how to film these videos Am I supposed to say what I'm using? This is a Clarins um, Eye Perfecting Base. It's running out. Um, a lot of my makeup I got from my mum because she used to work in a pharmacy and she used to work for like she's worked for Clarins, she's worked for Dior, um, Lancome and Estee Lauder and so a lot of my makeup mostly is those brands because we got like a lot of that kind of stuff for Christmas because she would always get like either a discount or she would just get like free stuff and she would just pass it on to us because yeah you know children's um well, there we go and then I go with my powder, which is Dior Nude, uh, Dior Skin Nude Air Loose Powder. And I just take that on a big size brush 
and I just dip it and I just hit that over the top. I really do feel like this side is more than that side though. Here we go, I'm going to lift the little teensy bit more. Come on. There you go. I'm no beauty guru. I love makeup. I want to get in to like the makeup community and do all that. I am so sad I missed out on the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star collab release. I'm really hoping they restock because I'm going to get it for Christmas. But. I don't know I will see I think they have like restocked but I went on the Australian Morphe site because we don't have one in New Zealand and dude there's nothing there and um soldier he barks at like the cats and shit um yeah, it was all sold out on the Australian Morphe site. So I'm really hoping and praying that I haven't missed out. And that I... My brushes are also pretty dirty from doing my makeup the other day. So... YOLO. Um, I swear I say that in like every freaking video. But it is what it is. Uh, I think I'll use out of this palette a neutral shade. This is the Crown Glamour um, Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. How much does this look like Morphe? Like, when we were on course and we went to the training for this, well, training we were told it was training and then we get there and it wasn't even they were just talking about freaking brushes but we went to the training for this i'm gonna go in with the only annoying thing about these is these shadows don't have names so you can't say what names they are but i went in with this one here and this one here these two slightly darker colors and tap. um yeah we got to the training and they were talking because we all brought up the fact that it looks just like a morphe palette and it was trying to rip it off i guess and they said that the owner of crown glamour and the owner of morphe were husband and wife and they got a divorce and that morphe was trying to copy Crown Glamour and took all of their formulas and that Crown Glamour had been around before Morphe. But I have to say, I've never used a Morphe palette but I'm hoping to maybe get one. If I can't get like the Shane Dawson thing for Christmas, I'm going to get a Morphe palette anyway. And I want to see if the formulas are the same or different or very similar because if Morphe's formula is better than Crown Glamour I'm gonna go ahead and say that Crown Glamour was the one that was actually copying I want to say that anyway because me and the girls had a talk about that afterwards and we we're like mmm I don't believe that story because the prices and everything about it is just so much different and like I don't know 
a lot of the product that we had to test with Crown Glamour just wasn't that great like the quality of it was not great at all so I don't know but that's some tea for the video the tea sis I wonder if I should I just had an idea I should answer some questions about myself while I'm doing this mm, I'm gonna pause go get my laptop and look up some questions and answer them okay hang on I'll be back okay these are ones that I haven't really seen anyone do so they're just like random ones and we'll just go with those ones today um so the first one is do you like coffee yep I drink coffee every morning I refuse to drink more than one cup a day though if I could drink more than one cup a day and like sleep and not have like a bad sleep because I lately I've been having really really bad nightmares and I struggled with like having nightmares since I was a kid and I wake up every night in a fright like I wake up knowing that it was just a nightmare but it's like I don't get any sleep because of it and it literally drives me mental but um and I, I think coffee has a lot to do with dreams I was like trying to google like what's a way to stop bad dreams and it literally just said coffee cut out coffee go to bed regularly blah, 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 bullshit things so yeah but I still have bad dreams I have some pretty crazy dreams I should start writing them down more because I wrote down a few some other time oh, this is a Zoeva opulence palette and I'm going in with get your glory and I'm just gonna put that over there of this to make it a bit red so yeah um your dream vacation um well I really want to travel the world there's a lot of places I want to see I'm so into like history and like history of places I'd love to go to Italy because I have Italian blood in me my dad's side of the family are Italian moldies and I would love to know because his my great granddad Jesse, he jumped ship from the war in Italy and came to New Zealand. Some people, some family went to Australia, I think, and then some came here to New Zealand. But he did. He he jumped ship. He came to New Zealand. And he changed his name, so I don't actually know his original name. I think I know our original family name was Milano, but he changed his name to Jesse James Royce. Um, so that is as much as I know with that part, but I would love to go to Italy, I would love to go to Greece, um, Egypt, I would love to go to, like, Jerusalem, uh, where else? I would love to go to, like, Bali and just, you know, everywhere. My ultimate dream would be to go to LA as well. I love, like, Hollywood and, like, mostly old Hollywood like I love like old Hollywood um all that kind of stuff but I don't think I could live in LA like my dream was always to like move to LA live to LA make it big in LA but I think living in a city is not for me maybe like Malibu if I could move to Malibu that would be nice but other than that like I don't think I could handle it in a big city in LA like I come from a really small town and my legit dream is to like own like a real cute little like country farm with a cute little country cottage and things like that so you can't really do that in LA but um, hopefully one day I get to make it there at some point and travel and see that and I don't really know what else to say about that 
Um, last movie you watched? Um, what was it? Jackass. <laughs> I literally just watched Jackass last night. Um, I think I watched Jackass three point five last night. So that was like the one after like Jackass three D, and then they brought out that one where they like talk about what was going on in it. So I watched that last night. Mm, what colour? What colour? What colour? What colour? What colour? I don't want to go too natural. on with this and hope that it works um using this is just a random palette that I got a pretty little thing it's really good like the colors are actually really pigmented and I like it so I'm gonna go in with what one did I just put this purple color right here it looks pink on camera but it's purple trust me it's purple so we're gonna go in with that and I have no idea what I'm doing. I just put colors wherever and I don't really go into much. Um, I don't know what else. Uh, what are you listening to right now? Um, so music is like one of my favorite things so i go through stages of music that i listen to at the moment i have a playlist that is my like sad bitch songs i go through stages of where i like to just listen to it. sad what some people call sad music i'm like i don't really get sad from it but I just love to get in my feels I might do it in your feels playlist but my last playlist video got demonetized and well not demonetized um copyrighted not demonetized I got copyrighted and I have like got three copyrights on my page already but we might just get one more because I'm still not 100% sure how to edit to not get copyrighted if anyone knows how to edit and can give me some tips I use Windows Movie Maker because I can't afford any Apple products to be honest but I use Windows Movie Maker and if anyone can give me some tips on how to edit music video uh like song playlist videos and all that kind of stuff then please let me know but what are some of my favorite songs i love anything stevie nicks because she is like my absolute queen um summer walker's new album love that that shit's bomb uh what else i love i've been listening to a lot of like old taylor swift I know that's weird, but I don't really like a new Taylor. I love her old music. But Harry Styles' new song, Lights Up, oh my gosh. And Selena Gomez, her new tune, both of her new songs, but that Lose You To Love Me. I almost died. I've been listening to that, like, non-stop. I feel like this looks really odd, but... We're rolling with it. It didn't come out so bad. I mean, sometimes I just wing it and my visions come out fine. Don't know how, but they do. Um, What colour next, guys? What colour next? We're going with a lighter purple, eh? Let's just keep with the purple thing. Keep with the purple. Um, what's next? Worst injury you've ever had. 
Uh, okay, a little bit TMI, but when I was 16, 17, I got really drunk for New Year's one time and I came out the next morning and I was still a little bit drunk and we had a pool at the house and everyone had been swimming in it all morning and when I got up the outside was like it was like tiles and one you should not put tiles outside but there was tiles and they were wet and they were slippery and as soon as I was stepped foot out the door I slipped and I fell and I hit my tailbone on the like there was like a brick ledge by the like the door and I hit my tailbone on that and I ended up in hospital because I had a bruise that got infected or something it was like an infected hematoma that was literally the worst pain I have ever been in in my entire life and I do not wish that on freaking anybody like ow I still have a scar like right at the top of my tailbone and that shit hurts really bad because they had to keep the wound open so it had to close like <laughs> it's really too my but they keep the wound open and they have to like pack it that shit hurts worse than the fucking bruise itself like it was the most pain I think I've ever been in I've broken my arm but no one ever believed me that it was broken so it never healed properly um and I never got taken to the doctors for that I never let anyone live that down to this day um I got into a, I got on a bike with my neighbor who used to ride like motocross and just ride dirt bikes all the time and so I we used to do it all the time and I used to get on the bike and just ride around with him in his area anyway we crashed <laughs> and I fell off and I broke my arm and no one believed me because has anyone ever broken their arm and their parents go to them can you move your fingers and if you can move your fingers they're like yeah it's not broken that rule does not apply because I moved my fingers literally the tiniest bit and they're like yeah you're fine it's not broken that shit was broken I have fractured my wrist I have a couple of scars here I have a scar right here because I walked into the scales at work when I used to work in the deli and we used to have scales and because I was short everyone else could like see over the scales I was short I couldn't see over the counter I couldn't see over nothing people would like come to me and I would serve them and they would be like oh we can only they could only see like this part of me and I was like hi but yeah that was all my injuries basically I think I think the scar on my knee my dad I don't remember where it came from but my dad told me I fell off a bike when I was younger which I vividly remember because I was on my cousin's BMX bike and I didn't think that the scar was from this what happened with this but I'm pretty sure it did um but I vividly remember my cousin getting a brand new BMX bike for Christmas her riding over this hole like there was like a pothole in the dirt my cousin riding over it, me being like, I can do that, get on it, go to do the same thing, and I went over the handlebars, and somehow the pedal of the bike went into my knee, so I've got a scar from that, and I think that was all of my worst injuries. Oh, no, I got hit with a pumice rock in my eye when I was a kid, and this is... Like, there's still scar tissue in here and I have to like massage it out every now and again you can kind of see that there's like more of a lump here than there is on this side um see here but yeah that's because we were throwing like rocks to scare the rabbits away because my neighbor's brother was like shooting rabbits and we were trying to scare them away and save them all and I stood up just as she threw the rock and it hit me in the face. I got elbowed in the nose and that's broken. I have hurt myself a lot, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this question, are you wearing pants right now? Yeah. 
I'm wearing shorts, but they're pants. I'm not wearing a bra, though. Um, what are your plans for tonight? I'm to sleep. Uh, when do you usually go to sleep? That's a good one. I used to stay up all night. Oh my god, I'm running out of time. I used to stay up all night, but I now, because I used to smoke marijuana, I don't anymore. I stopped because that shit just does not agree with me. It's not for me. And so I used to smoke weed and stay up all night smoking weed. But now I go to bed probably around or go to sleep probably around like 10 or 11ish and I wake up now at like 7:38 which I have never ever in my entire life been that kind of person ever I used to have like really bad insomnia because I guess I developed from like having bad dreams my whole life not wanting to go to sleep I developed insomnia from that and also it has a lot to do with like childhood traumas um but that's a whole nother video um and okay i'm just gonna put some mascara on no actually i need to do my brow bone first okay i'm um i'm going back to the opulence palette and i'm gonna go in with Let's go with Industrial Fortune. This one here. And I'm going to take it on just this little teeny brush. I'm doing a really bad job at this. Um, and put that just in here. I ain't no beauty guru. I just literally wing it and look at my face as a canvas and pretend like this is paint and I... I'm just painting. I say that like I'm an artist, but I'm not. Um, some, oh, here we go. Here's some funny ones. Um, <laughs> beer or wine? I don't drink. I have become such a boring person. I'm such a saint now. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do anything of those sorts of things anymore I've become such a boring person but it's because I think in my last video I said I'm going on like a spiritual journey that has led me to having a clean soul and I'm trying really hard to like right all my wrongs and stop being like so judgy so negative all the time i'm trying to you know just live a good life and accept all of god's blessings and be grateful for the life i have even when i'm not feeling like this is the place i'm meant to be i'm grateful that i get to wake up every day and live life here on this earth and just you know have the people I have around me even if I don't always agree with the things that they do I love the lessons that my family has taught me and I'm forever grateful that I do have a family there's a lot of people out there that have a lot but I'm the kind of person that doesn't believe anyone's life is worse than the other we all get doubt like different cards in life and we all have to deal with shit different ways we all go through things we all deal with shit differently we all feel things differently and shit affects people in different ways and I'm very big on that I used to play the victim for the longest time I mean I've lost a lot of friends and family because of that reason and I've learned over the past few years I've had to like step aside and it's like I like left my body and started looking at things from the outside and realizing like 
okay, it doesn't, you know, this isn't forever. You have to, like, really take a step back and look at, like, the patterns that you're repeating and all that. Because my family repeat a lot of bad patterns and they just keep going, which is basically revolved around drugs and alcohol. And I stepped back and I looked at that and I was just like, yeah, no, I don't want that life. For myself or my future children I want to actually like make it somewhere and go somewhere and travel and I've always had these really big dreams and I've always been told that I'm a dreamer and you know you dream too big you want all these things in life you're never gonna get them and um, blah, blah, blah blah and I'm like well actually yeah I am because I believe in myself and I might have high expectations and what they call two bigger dreams but I believe in myself and I know I'm gonna make it one day and I like to have big um, goals in life because the higher I think of myself the more I'm gonna accomplish these things you know so that's where I'm at with that and drugs and alcohol just are not for me and they're not for everyone and it's okay and like I don't judge you if you know you do drink or you do do drugs or whatever I mean if that's for you that's for you but it's just not for me sorry guys I'm trying to do my mascara and then I'll go in and do my face real quick i'm just gonna pause and come back because this thing's like beeping at me and everything so i'll be back in a minute and i'm gonna do my base on my face as well while i'm off off camera and i just at the moment i'm using this maybelline new york um superstay full coverage foundation this is definitely not my color so i mix it with this a little bit of this um the this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place foundation as well. I mix that in. And so I'm just gonna quickly do that and finish my eye mascara and then I'll come. Okay, I just did my foundation and my bronzer, which I use this Dior Skin Star concealer in a really dark colour. It's 004 honey and I just put that there blended in and that's my contour I don't do much else other than that and I then I wanted to try this Dior cheek stick out I don't know how it's gonna go I might just put a little bit on my hand like so and then get my finger and just dab it on there. get my blender and just go over it a little bit to make it a little bit more subtle Okay, yo, I'll show you guys better at the end. 
And then last but not least, we are going to take my LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in 100 Watt. And we are going to get a another little brush. And then we are going to put a little highlighter on. Done. I usually will put like just some lip balm or some gloss on my lips. But that is that. We are done with my makeup. Let's do a little setting spray. This is a Clarins one. And we are finished. So that is that. My hair looks crazy. Still getting used to having short hair. I got it. I only got it done yesterday. So um, let's answer two more questions before I go, and that's it. So we have what do we got? Would you marry a celebrity? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd marry... This is so weird. I'd marry Schemas to some girl because he's honestly the love of my life. Chris Brown's already my husband. Um, David Dobrik. Mm -hmm. And who else? Mm, mostly just them. That's it. Yeah. Especially Ski. Love of my life. Uh, <laughs> um, drama queen, are you a drama queen? At times, yeah, I can be. I mean, my star sign says it all, it's cancer. Um, of course, everyone can be a little bit of a drama queen at times. I used to, when I was a kid, be a really big <laughs> drama queen. I like to think I've grown out of it a little. I do tend to be a little bit of a drama queen at times, yes, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, we'll keep, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, do you cry in sad movies? Sometimes. If it's sad enough, I cry in Brother, Brother Bear every day, every time. I cry in Beaches. Those are the two main movies I cry, Bridge to Terabithia. Cry in that bitch every time. Yeah, that's it. Um... What else? I think that's it. We'll end it there. We can... Would you give all your money to a charity? That's it. Yes. Last question. Yes. 100% without a doubt I would. Um, especially if it was like helping children or animals or like third world countries. Yes. 100%. That's one of my absolute dreams is to make enough money to help other people. All I ever want in life is to help other people. Um, yeah, so last question, I absolutely 100% without a doubt would, yes, I would love to start my own non-profit, all of that, yes, 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 a thousand times yes. Um, so that's it, I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me, I know it was probably quite boring, I probably talked about a lot of like, random crap, um, this hair is crazy, I'm gonna go and finish getting ready and get dressed and go check on my grandma because she's very unwell and I just feel like I have to go and check on her and yeah so thanks for watching if you made it this far in the video thank you so much um this is gonna be really interesting to edit um and like and subscribe follow my socials that'll be linked down below um I think if you would like to click the notification bell if that's a, even a thing um yeah, please like and subscribe. Share the video with all your friends if you can. Share it around. Um, 
I love you guys so much, uh, and I'll see y'all in another video when I decide to film again. Hopefully tomorrow or another time. Really, really am trying to get back into these. Something just keeps happening, but I'm going to keep pushing through and keep going. Um, 